So what are you hoping for today? Um, I'm hoping that he goes somewhere and he gets better. Yeah, ready to go. That date, the court found the defendant <clears throat> not guilty of aggravated murder by reason of insanity. Uh, there was a uh, second charge of murder that was merged into the aggravated murder, so that's merged now, and I think the state elected to have the defendant sentenced on the aggravated murder. The third count, having weapons under disability, was dismissed by the court. Put EX for exhibit. In fact, I'm going to put CT Court Exhibit A, and the court will admit this document uh, into evidence based on the stipulations of uh, both parties. Now, Mr. Speck, is there any other evidence that the prosecution wishes to offer in this case? There is no other evidence, Judge. All right, Mr. Impollick, is there any other evidence the defense wishes to offer? None. Very well. All right, the evidence then having been closed, the evidence submitted to the court uh, is the examination uh, by Dr. Gaisley. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not going to read uh, this whole report. The report is in evidence. It's been admitted, but I'm just going to allude to the opinion section of the report. Uh, Dr. Gaisley, uh, he made certain findings of fact in here, which uh, are, are pretty much known. Uh, they were the same findings, basically, that were made when we had the, uh, the uh, competency hearings and we had the original, uh, or the later sanity trial. But Dr. Gaisley finds, he states in his report, it is my opinion, with reasonable psychological certainty, 
that Mr. Rashad Riedel suffers a severe mental disease, specifically schizophrenia undifferentiated type. Uh, he continues, however, to be somewhat delusional and religiously preoccupied. It was also the examiner's additional opinion. It states, it, it remains my opinion with reasonable psychological certainty that Mr. Rashad Riddle continues to be a mentally ill person subject to hospitalization by court order when considering the totality of the circumstances. Consistent not only with Mr. Riedel's current treatment needs, but also considering public safety remains inpatient psychiatric hospitalization through the Ohio Department of Mental Health, most likely at North Coast Behavioral Health Care. So the opinion of Dr. Gaisley was that uh, Mr. Riedel continues to be uh, suffering from a severe mental disease and that the defendant is a mentally ill person subject to hospitalization by court order pursuant to ORC section 2945.40. Court further orders that the least restrictive commitment alternative available consistent with the public safety and the welfare of the defendant is a commitment to the This right to the North Coast Behavioral Health Care facility listed in section 2945.40F of the Ohio Revised Code. It will be further ordered uh, by the court that the Sheriff of Ashtabula County will transport uh, the defendant, uh, Mr. Riddell, uh, to the uh, treatment facility pending bed availability. The defendant will remain in the custody of the Sheriff's Department in Ashtabula County pending transfer to this facility. The court also grants the defendant level four movement for purposes of medical treatment only. That's in the facility. Uh, pursuant to section 2945.401J1 of the Ohio Revised Code, the final termination of this commitment will be for the uh, life of the defendant, Mr. Riedel, since he was convicted of aggravated murder and unclassified felony. Uh, that is the maximum prison term that he could have received had he, had he been convicted of aggravated murder. All right. There will also be another hearing in six months pursuant to statute to determine the defendant's uh, uh, continued uh, commitment to the treatment center. How long are you uh, and Rashad going together? Um, not long, a couple oh. months. Did you live together then? Um, just started to. What are some good things you remember about Rashad? Um, watching movies, going places together, talking. He was a good person. What were his interests? Um, he liked video games, movies. What do you miss most about him? Talking to him. He was the type of person that made you smile. <laughs>